hello everyone uh, welcome you all to uh, periyar screen youtube channel so uh, on this day today we have our guest uh, professor ajit kanna who is a uh, from uh, jawaharlal nehru university delhi so here we have him uh, to discuss about attack on periyar reason and response so that is what uh, we are going to see so let's have a word with him yeah hello sir welcome welcome for the discussion good evening yes sir good evening so uh, why there was a uh, today evening uh, today um, you know morning it was been a very hot topic that uh, in twitter also it is trending that uh, there was a saffron color paint which was poured to insult peria in coimbatore uh, sundrapuram so why it is so why it happened first uh, i must thank those uh, 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 rss gang the sang sang parivar gang that uh, they uh, poured uh, saffron color on uh, peria statue uh, do i do does it mean that uh, saffron color is so uh, inauspicious is it so dirty the color they instead of pouring uh, um, uh, dirty water they are pouring uh, saffron is saffron a symbol of dirt so i must thank them so they have they realized that saffron is a, is is equivalent to dirt that's my first reaction second reaction is i'm very happy again doubly happy that even after 47 years of his death he could he could uh, create this kind of uh, anger in uh, in uh, uh, right wing uh, uh, politicians and uh, uh, right wing outfits hindu outfits like bharat sena i am told that fellow 21 year old boy has been arrested he he, he is a member of a, one of the hindu outfits called bharat sena in uh, um, uh, incidentally the vice chancellor of jnu also belongs to that group this is an information i am giving you yeah so uh, the, to answer to your question directly yes uh, uh, this is their response we are ready it is their response when uh, we have uh, uh, the courage to uh, desecrate uh, or insult hindu gods they are, they also would react in the same way we are ready for it if they are attacking periyar for what karpur kutum has done it's the success of periyar and periyar ideals i'm happy to be a periyar student yes so i'll take it as a uh, your first point that uh, actually the uh, series of incident which is happening in tamil nadu is we can see that uh, there has been a hashtag which is uh, trending in all over india that uh, save journalism from brahminism then mm. uh, maridas put another video so how you look into this uh, media and representation of uh, other backward classes uh, scheduled tribes and then scheduled castes uh, why it is hurting them why they are always targeting them uh, why is hurting brahmins yeah why why they have been why the right wing is always been uh, uh, afraid of it yeah yeah they would be afraid of it because they don't they, they thought we will not speak the subaltern voices will not be heard once they start speaking uh obcs and scs and sts what you call subaltern uh, groups when they voice their opinion uh, definitely the dominant group is under threat you know uh, why vedas were kept, always kept away from uh, these uh, lower caste people because they don't want to want them to understand or know what has been written in this way this uh, hindu scriptures the hierarchy brahman kshatriya vaishya shudra and scs and sts are not part of the varnashrama so they don't want them to know that they are slaves that's what ambedkar said tell him that you are a slave he will not remain a slave so in this slavery this um, this oppression has been hidden from the, per, the from the oppressed the truth has been hidden the vedas those who li, uh, listen to vedas there uh, they would be punished with the with the kind of uh, you know the 
the the worst punishment is they will pour lead on the in their ears right in ramayana shambhu was uh, punished like this by ram because he heard uh, somebody uh, chanting veda veda mantra as uh, those who um, read uh, veda or uh, chant veda their tongues will be cut according to vedic uh, manu manu smriti uh, doctrines right so this is what they don't want us to say they don't want us to have a say have a word you said i want to want you to have a word with you i want to have a word with you they don't want to give have a word with us with others who don't uh, belong to this school of thought brahmanical social order now uh, non brahmins they do, they want n s n b s o replacing b s o with n b s o non brahmanical social order so they are under threat they don't want us to come to that level that's why they have they have treated the untouchables as untouchables unseeables unapproachables they can't even approach the temple they can't even uh, have uh, i mean uh, exchange food with these people right so th this this participation will put their hegemony in question in trouble rather their hegemony will be in trouble it's a power struggle man it's a power struggle <coughs> so they will oppose they are afraid they are scared they are doubly scared because one what uh, who gave them the 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 right to speak it is naturally periyar and ambedkar and marx the tradition goes way back to ayoti das oru paisa tamilan he talks about the tamil buddhism the revival of tamil buddhism revival of dalit tamil buddhism isn't it so uh, non dalits non brahmins they were threatened by ayoti das uh, uh, writings and speeches periyar gave his first ever speech organized by ayoti das on feminism women's rights uh, subaltern rights right so ayoti das has set the ball rolling and people like uh, phule ambedkar um, periya they all followed right so they will be threatened they will be threatened and it is always it's a land of you know uh, participatory democracy tamil tamil country has been known for this democratic participation right yeah yeah that would be my so, response uh, to your yeah. question yeah so as you have said that uh, there has been a, a long history for the struggle against uh, brahmins um but i could able to see that after this karpar kutum's video many people came uh, to support kandasasti kavasam and uh, even i could say that uh, kandasasti kavasam sashti itself not a tamil word but uh, how come they are supporting uh, how you are seeing that how uh, why people are supporting this all even in prayer land yeah um, whether it is a tamil word or a sanskrit word uh, mm, uh We, any any karpar kutum will oppose kandasasti kavasam even kanda comes from the word skanda so that's also sanskrit name uh, it is actually murugan patu in tamil if you have to say it has to be it has to be simply called murugan patu uh, so uh, kandasasti kavasam uh, see uh, to be very honest you, you can oppose but you cannot insult Uh, the way they insulted periyar uh, that that we were i was expecting this kind of reaction from hindu outfits uh, i i heard the video i saw the video uh, it uh, it was censored because he was using all foul language that's that's not the way karpar kotam should behave uh, that's not the way periyar followers should behave uh, that that is condemnable uh we oppose we oppose lord muruga we oppose uh, lord ram we oppose all kinds of god because we don't believe in god we don't believe in allah we don't believe in jesus christ we don't believe in ram we don't believe any of in in any of these 33 crores of gods and goddesses of hindu religion 
So we will oppose anything that is unscientific, that is irrational. That's why we are called rationalists. We rationalize everything. Which religion? I was discussing with uh, uh, Anburaj Anna, son of uh, Dr. K. Viramani. He was telling me, Ajit, which religion says that if you read uh, uh, Veda, your tongue will be cut. If you go to uh, go to school, you uh, I mean uh, you will be uh, asked to sit outside the school. Which religion says that? Which religion says that you should not be educated? Isn't it? In Islam, if you go to mosque, I have seen myself in Yemen, the mayor of the city and I and a beggar, we were praying on the same platform. Can you imagine that happening in Hindu uh, temple? Then why should I go to that temple? Why should uh, I, sh uh, I uh, follow what Brahmins tell me to follow? If he considers me as a Hindu, then why should I be uh, 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 standing some 20 feet away from the Sanctum Sanctorum? Why? Why this hierarchy? We are opposed to this hierarchy. Because we, everyone is born equal and should be treated equal. Nobody is above me, nobody is below me. I am, I am at the same footing. Like I'm, I'm only, I can only quote Periyar. Periyar says, it, is, it, it should be like Olympic Games where everybody starts at the same time from the same spot. At athletics begin on the same spot, same time. Here it is one fellow started 100 years ago, another fellow started 200 years ago, another fellow is starting just now. Is it a, a fair competition? It is not. So, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, as you said that, uh, you have clearly said that uh, you are a rationalist and uh, we are a rationalist, we, are, we don't oppose one religion. But there has been always a critics from the right wing outfit that uh, rationalists are the so-called periodist and Ambedkarist only criticize Hinduism. Why not Islam or else uh, Christianity? So what would be the answer for them? Yeah, yeah, it's the same question. Uh, yesterday in yesterday's debate also, they asked me the same question. Eleo Kumar, I must tell you that, see, um, there is something wrong with my religion. By default, I was born in a Hindu religion. So the, the change, the reform must start from my home. I have to tell my mother, see, you cannot treat this person differently from that person. What happened? Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. So this discrimination starts at home. A sister, my sister is treated in a different way. She is not given the same kind of privilege I get. It's, it begins from home, whether you are a Dalit, whether you are a Brahmin, the gender discrimination begins at home. Caste discrimination begins in your village. Isn't it? Once you go or step out of your house, you are untouchable. You cannot use the uh, well that is used by other caste people. That's what Ambedkar fought at uh, Chavda tank. What a tank uh, protest is a world famous protest. Isn't it? That is what Periyar fought in Kerala, in Vaikam. That is what uh, Ayodhya Das fought for, for equal representation. No? So there is problem in Hindu religion. Being a Hindu, Ramaswami Nayakar, himself a Hindu, uh, he, he, he can only start from his religion. Then he can go to Islam, then he can go to Christianity because he, my house is on fire. I have to douse that fire first. Now we have coronavirus pandemic. We have to treat coronavirus, not uh, somebody who is diabetic or somebody who has blood pressure. If I have a heart attack and I have sugar, I have blood pressure. First thing, what will I treat? I'll have to treat the heart attack, not uh, the other way. So I have to treat the symptoms, not the disease. The symptoms is caste. The disease is religion. That is why Ambedkar and Periyar, uh, they started uh, working on caste issue. So the first essay written by um, Periyar is 
caste must be destroyed. Why? Jadi Oliya Vendum Yen. Ambedkar's first uh, well known essay is uh, Annihilation of Caste. If you annihilate caste, if you destroy caste, Hindu religion will be destroyed automatically. Marx also wrote about India in 1848 that there is uh, India is such a great country, but it is suffering from caste disease. He wrote in, in one of his essays, isn't it? Yes, sir. So we, be, we belong to that tradition. We have to keep up that tradition the way they want Shaivism and Vaishnavism. I don't know how many isms are there in Hinduism. They want that tradition to dominate. We cannot allow that to happen. I will not allow that to happen. I will fight till my last breath as a student of Ambedkar and Periyan. Yes, sir. So uh, uh, I think uh, we have been discussing more than 15 minutes. So I think we can conclude it. Uh, I, I would like to hear from you that uh, what Periyar movements and Ambedkar movements have to do in this uh, such a situation where uh, right-wing outfits has been uh, grown across the country. What 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 is the message you would like to share to them? Yeah, uh, that's a good question. It's it's an, it's an ideological clash. It's very very simple, as simple as that. It is an ideological clash. Ambedkar, Periyar, Marx uh, tradition will is questioning the the basic idea is to question the. Um, the hierarchy, the dominance of one particular community. In, in Europe, it was uh, um, rich versus poor, the, uh, the bourgeois versus proletariat. Here, if you replicate the same uh, theory, uh, Brahmins versus non Brahmins, the lower. Uh, so we have to uh, question this, this old tradition. It is, it is a direct conflict between tradition versus, versus um, rationality, traditional practices versus rational thinking. This thinking, uh, what, what is this thinking? Thinking is to question the comfort zone that you're living in. Yeah. So that is, that is the courage Periyar and Ambedkar and Marx had given us. And places like JNU or Delhi University or Madras University or you know uh, other uh, Bombay University for that matter, Allahabad University, Jadavpur University. These are the places where you get exposed to such questioning the the uh, the set rules, the dogmatic rules, the traditional way of living. Huh? That is the kind of tradition that we these great icons have set for us so we cannot we cannot be blind to what is happening around us i'm comfort i'm comfortable in jnu but i have to fight for my people also what am i doing otherwise here so this is what i think uh, this this uh, uh, this idea of challenging confronting <coughs> Questioning the hegemony here in India, it is Brahmanical hegemony. This idea of questioning this hegemony is what irritating them, threatening them, and that makes them pour saffron color on uh, Periya statue, defacing Periya statue, cutting the hand of uh, Ambedkar statue. You must have seen many. In your village, Ambedkar statue would always be desecrated. Ambedkar statue would always be desecrated. Marx would always be criticized, isn't it? Because these are the people who can question the fundamentals of their religious practices. I think I made my point clear. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you for uh, being with us, sir. Uh, we'll uh, discuss in some other day also with some other topic. Uh, thank you. Thank you from uh, Periyar Screen.